First, we'll discuss the hikmah, the wisdom of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he fought against injustice and oppression. And this was in Medina. Whereas in Makkah, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he was tortured and persecuted. But he bore this with patience. Even the Sahaba, they were tortured and persecuted because they believed in one God. But the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he ordered the Sahaba to bear all of this with patience. And this was the hikmah, the wisdom of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Because these were the initial stages of da'wah. We have several examples wherein the Sahaba, they were tortured and persecuted, but they did not give up the religion of Islam. We have the example of Ammar bin Yasir. May Allah be pleased with him. He was tortured and persecuted to the extent that his mother, Sumayya, may Allah be pleased with her, she was killed in front of her own son. But till her last breath, Sumayya, may Allah be pleased with her. She did not give up on Islam. She did not give up on Tawheed. And she was the first martyr among the Muslims. And when the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he was passing by the family of Ammar bin Yasir. May Allah be pleased with him. He tells him, Sabran ya ala Yasir, fa inna mawaidakum al jannah. Patience, O family of Yasir, for your abode is paradise. We have the example of Bilal radiallahu an. He was tortured by his master, Umayyah bin Khalf. Umayyah bin Khalf used to take Bilal radiallahu an in the hot sun and make him lie down on the hot sand and used to place a large rock on the chest of Bilal radiallahu an and tell him to give up the message of Islam, to give up on Tawheed, to leave Islam. But the only words that Bilal radiallahu anhu uttered were ahadun ahad. There is only one God. There is only one God. This was the unwavering faith that the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, had instilled in the Sahaba that come what may, they did not give up on Tawheed. That is the oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he liberated these Sahaba from the clutches of idol worship.